music is not the way it used to be. And I'm saying it again, music is not the way it used to be. Giving a break shot, uh, great shout out to uh, the YouTube family. And I was just sitting around here looking at this. They were showing some snipe pets here on BET. Now 106 in Park. It's on TV. They showing some good moments from the... Well, they think that are good moments from the BET Awards that was on. And... I got nothing against Chris Brown. I got nothing against this guy called... What? Rick Ross or whatever? Big Sean have nothing against Kanye. Not at all. I mean, I... I, you know what, I, I have an album from Kanye when he, back in the day. But to be real honest, I don't like today's music at all. They are few, like, Ma, I mean, I, st- I think that Monica, if you, in in her recent album that she released, she still got the st- that R&B feel like love all over me. You got um, everything to me. It's very, very nice. These these songs are just, you can know that, you know, she still got the feel from the old school in there. And I'm not, you know, some people always tell me that, hey, well, hey, you know, the world is going forward. That means everything got to change and music got to, it's okay. I mean, I never say that you got to stay stuck. Listen, you can, you can use, and I'm saying it again, I'm a big, I'm the, I'm the biggest example. You know what? I use, I can use the same course, but I'm going to do it so in a way that it's going to just feel new. Let me say just, you just use the, you just, you, just, you go to the, to the, f- from the, I'm in D flat. Go to the, uh, from the four, five, and then you come to the, to the, to the, to the three, and then you go to the six, you know, do something. But then you just got to be, I, I, I would maybe change how the bass will go or maybe t- um, change the, 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 the drums, you know. But it's still going to have this old school feel. Like, I, I miss Jamie Foxx. In those days, like, in his album Peep, there's, like, um, inf- infatuation. Is it, is, is it just infatuation or real love? I mean, that song is just off the hook. I, 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 I miss the way he used to sing. I mean, Jamie gives hits us up with his old school feel, like you know he used to sing, you know, sometime when he's singing live. But <clears throat> I don't really feel his new album on me. But that's just me. It's okay. I mean, I'm I'm still a fan of him anyway, and because he's a he's a mad person. He he's a mess. He's a good comedian, comedian too. I got a lot of my jokes was off of him because I was tied up in the Jimmy Fox show. And not speaking about shows. Shows is just not the way it used to be either. But you know what? If I do that, I got to have my girl Ira because she is really, I mean, she's into shows. Me, I'm into music. She's into shows. So I would have to get her on. But I'm just saying. And to all the religious folks, yeah, I listen. I listen to rap music. Hit me. Yes, I was listening to a tribe, a tribe called Quest. Now that is real hip hop for me. Why those other people are like Wiz Khalifa? I don't even know their names really. Wiz Khalifa, you you got some others doing songs like Black and Yellow, like for real. Wiz Khalifa. I mean, for all the Wiz Khalifa fans and whatever, I mean, it's fine. I mean, he's made it to the industry. That's his thing. He's doing his thing fine. But like, really, Black and Yellow. Come on now. <coughs> I think even my little cousin Michael would even bring a lot more lyrics into the hook. But that's okay. I mean, that's his music that he does. He should keep doing it. All right? Nobody's stopping him. But I'm just talking about me. I miss old school music. You know, and sometimes when I just look at maybe Will Dawning or songs that still are on here on YouTube that just... Brings the old school feel like outstanding. You see uh, somebody writing that okay, I'm 15, but I still love, you know, I I, I love this song. I think that my generation of songs ain't cool no more, you know. I mean, and I've been listening to this song, Infatuation by Jamie Foxx, a lot. It, it's it's a repeat. It's it's a repeat. 
yeah, you know. And then you have this, I guess it was a 16-year-old that wrote that y'all should go watch when he performed it live on the Ash Ash Neil Hall show. Hall show is on YouTube. He went in hard. This man is so talented. He should remake this album and redrop it so everyone can see what they missed out back then. You know? And I just gotta say, yeah. The kids, today's kids are missing out on so many things. You know, on so many things. Those that were born in this generation, well, fine that you were born here. I mean, you lucky you got a lot of ele- ele- uh, electricity, electro. Well, you, you got you got more electrified, you got more chance with computers, you got Apple, you got everything. You know, that I guess that's the only thing that the kids these days have, but... Back in the day, th- those that really could experience the eighties and nineties, I mean, they we we had we had a lot. I mean, I'm I mean I I'm I'm in the category of this generation, but you know what? I wasn't raised in there. Everything that you heard in our house was a Kelly twelve play album. Seems like radio got um uh the the Gap Band got uh Earth Wind and Fire. That's what you had. You heard in my house. Cool, cool in the game. You you heard Keith Sweat. You heard Whitney Houston. You heard Luther. You heard Maria Carey. Dream lover, hero. A uh, heartbreak of it. That's what you heard. And if it came to hip hop, notorious and Tupac. My daddy would listen to Tupac <laughs> in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Everything he would listen to Tupac just straightforward, and you know I sometimes it really hurts me that today's generation is not having such good music like the '90s, not having such good cartoons like in the '90s. I mean everything, just everything has just changed. But that's the way it is, and we got, there's nothing that not, nobody can do about it. But that's just me, because, you know, people have been always asking me about my opinion about today's music since I'm in a position, and this is what I have. Today's music is not like it used to be. It, I think it has lost track. Because, you know what, today, we were debating on this, and my statement was like, today's music, is, I guess, is all about fucking hoes, sorry for my language. For fucking hoes, for you know, taking the bitch home or whatever. Well, the nineties wasn't any better, but they did it in a way that it sounded sweet. So maybe the person that is singing or rapping about that bitch or that hoe, he's saying it the sweet way, and you would think that he's respecting them. I mean, I, I'm not. I can. I can. I can talk about a uh, 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 Keith. Uh, Keith Sweat. He used to say all about making love to a woman. Maybe one woman he he said he she he was thinking in his mind that he's a ho- she's a hoe and she's a bitch. But you know he's just saying it in a way that you gonna think that he just want to make love to her. And nothing disrespectful about making love anyway. You know they just made it in a way that you know it's not too discriminating to women. You know. And I mean, I just miss those days, and the, and I, I, f- I can't forget my man Freddie Jackson where he came out with this song called "Tasty Love." Oh yeah, I love that song. Or "Ride Me Tonight" for an old time's sake. That's some music, man. When you listen to it, it just chills your mind. Or even if you see today, in today, if two women, two musicians are maybe fighting over a man. They can call, yeah, you fuck you, fuck you, bitch, fuck your whole sorry, kids. I'm sorry that I'm talking this way, but I guess y'all are used to it in songs. But I'm so, sorry for the young folks, so really, really, really sorry for my language. But, you know, and, but it was sweet. Just, just, just look at how Brandy Monica did it. She just said, you need to give it up. <laughs> it's so clear to see that the boy is mine. You know, 
it's sweet. I think it's a, it's a sweet conflict. But they sang it the way that it came very nicely. But then if Nicki Minaj and maybe Rihanna, Rihanna was, was about to fight about uh, Chris Brown. <laughs> hey, you fuck you, nigga, fuck you, ho, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, this, fuck you, that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. But, I mean, that that's just the way it is. You know, so and that's that's just it, and this is what I want to talk about. That music is not the way it is, and y'all to you that asked me what's your name, man, what's your name called? Zero Nine Asante. Yeah, I love old school music. That's why when you play, I'm so influenced about the old school music, and I just can't, you know, I just can't help it. There are some today's music that I like, but then when I like them, then that just means that they still have a little old school feel into it, like Silk. Or oh, I just saw H-Town, the, the the brother that is still living. They were, I guess there were twins and one died, Dino or whatever. He, the one, he still do music, and it still sounds like the when he, uh, back in the day, 95, 96, 97, you know? And it's real cool. And I think that they they know what real music is or Johnny Gill. I think he didn't mess, so mess up in his recent album. But, yeah, just for you to know that I love old school music real bad. And I miss the groups. Oh, I don't even want to start on groups. Boys to Men, you had Silk, you had H-Town, you could come to the women, you had TLC, S- Sisters with Voice, SVW, or whatever they were called. You, you, Oh, gosh, I can't even start. I can't even start. You had Toto. Ooh, Toto. Toto, that was a band. You had these people who, called, who sang, You're my little secret. That's how we should keep it. Um, Escape or Who Can I Run To? Oh, I love that song. Oh, man, there's so many old school music that I like, but I just got to stop here. So to those that love old school music like me, just thumb up and keep on listening to them. And that's the best thing about records. You can play them all over and over again, and it doesn't matter how the generation or the the years 2012, 2011 are moving forward, you can still be stuck in 93 songs, and that's okay, because nobody can steal them or raise them, you know, only if God says okay, you know, only if God says it, but you know what, let's thank God that while the generation is moving, that not everything is moving along with, because I would go crazy if I would just only have to listen to today's music, today's rap. I would be really sad because I just love old school. So this Orange Flavor saying always remember to stay easy, stay blessed.